back, y'all. Queen, queen. <laughs> hey babes welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Susie, and i am back at it with another diy y'all this custom jacket definitely made by me y'all know i'm gonna get y'all the tea so make sure y'all stay tuned but y'all i will be using this tape tree blanket that i picked up at the thrift store for about like three something um but i'm gonna be using mccall templates for the very first time using templates for the first time period but y'all this jacket really took me out of my comfort zone but i'm definitely just gonna say make sure y'all trust the process because this jacket definitely told me that but make sure y'all stay tuned until the end right now i am cutting out the front part oh my god just make sure y'all stay to the end so y'all this is the front i will be cutting the hinges off but i'm gonna do it off cam if y'all like my curls, I had did a where I said. But if y'all follow me on TikTok, y'all already know. But anyways, I had to come up with some pieces. I had to do, do a lot of alternative alternating and you know, all that good stuff because I didn't have enough. So these two pieces are the collars. I had to, it was supposed to be on a fold, but I had to cut them to put them out together into four different pieces. So these are two and then the other two uh right here um the same with this part of the collar i had to do the same thing our pockets y'all i'm so sorry that this video wasn't as detailed as it could be but like i said this was a little more difficult than i thought it would be the front vest part we got two of those the back part, the, what is it called? The front, I mean the back part, it's called the, this is the cutest part. <laughs> we got that. And then we have the bottom of the back. So now y'all, we gonna go ahead and put everything together. So let's go to the sewing machine. Okay, y'all, so first thing first, we're going to do the pocket. These are the pockets that we end up going with. And the pockets that's going to be in the next scene here is the pockets that we started with and we ended up changing them. But I'm going to show y'all, it's kind of going to be the same process for the pockets. Y'all know the pockets is really simple. So we're going to go ahead and start here and sew all the way around. Somebody is moving y'all over here by my house. So if y'all hear the loudness in the background, that's what it is. But as you can see, this is what we're doing here. I wanted to show y'all both pockets. So if y'all wanted to ever decide on some pockets, like with the tape sheet blanket, then y'all can use either or. Um, it's big enough to fit the phone, but now we're going to do the flap. So where I just pointed, we're going to just go ahead and do a straight stitch across. And then, y'all, I'm going to explain right here in one second. Once we get to the end, I'm literally just going to flip the pocket over. I'm not going to take the jacket from under the sewing machine or anything of that sort. We literally just going to flip it like so. Flip over the flap and do a top stitch. And comment down below and let me know which pocket y'all liked it the best. The first one or the second one. This one right here is the second one. I liked the first one. So yeah, my next step is to invest in a table, y'all, because I can't even show y'all everything. But anyway, so we're going to take um, all three of the these pieces right here, like so, and we're going to put the right sides together and put the little hinges, fringy things, the same side, and we literally just going to go ahead and sew straight across. While we wait, if you're still here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And this is what it looks like. Super cute, y'all. The back is definitely my favorite part. This is my son, Polo. To all my new subscribers, he clearly wants to play, but mommy's working right now. So, yeah, we're going to take 
the top parts and literally just sew across where I just pointed. I'm only showing y'all one side, but of course I did both. Um, and then we're gonna go right into the next step, which is the collar. And we're gonna literally just sew these two pieces together. And we're gonna do the other one. Remember I showed y'all we got two. So we're gonna do both of those literally the same way. This is what it should look like and now we're going to place them on top of each other like this and we're going to literally go ahead and do a top stitch. Okay, so once we finish this, we literally just want to go ahead and take it and put it where it needs to go. Yes, the pins was definitely helpful. Um, Y'all, my camera slid down and the whole time I didn't even know. But yeah, we just going to go ahead and sew that across. Now with the sleeves, I want to show y'all how it's supposed to look like if you see on the template, it was supposed to be just one piece, but I'm just going to attach both of these together, like so, literally a straight line down, and I'll show y'all how it look in a second. So now y'all, we're going to go ahead and attach the jacket sew it down on both sides like so my camera died when I was doing the top of the sleeve right there as I'm showing you guys but once you do that part then you can go ahead and do a stitch right down I don't know how many times I showed y'all this, but if somebody's new, this is how you do the cuff. You get the elastic band and kind of measure it um, so you can do your uh, seam. And then you literally going to take your pins. Y'all got my nails done. I got the little yin yang. Um, but you're going to go ahead and literally sew all around the perimeter of the sleeve part. Well, the cuff part, I should say. But you do want to go ahead and leave like a small part open that you can feed the elastic through. So y'all, I literally just take the pin and stick it through the elastic and feed it through. So you're going to take the end of the elastics and literally just sew it so it don't come apart. Now that you got that all done, the little hole that you left open, you're going to go ahead and sew that together. So this is what the cuff look like. I really like the cuff, y'all. Yeah, it's cute. Um, so now we're going to go ahead with the zipper. So this is how the zipper should go. Pause it if you need to. And literally just sew down. Okay, so, so this is the final and finishing look. I absolutely love how it came out. We was going for that poncho look. Um, my best friend, she absolutely loved it. Y'all, I snap. Like, I'm just, I'm coming for everything i own but this is the cute little bag i made i didn't get into detail with that but this is my best friend slaying she came through as usual 
um, put that shit on. But let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all want me to create next. Um, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit the bell button to be notified when your girl posts. I love you guys oh so much. And I'm out. Mm -hmm.